Count Tobacco Shop in Shawnee feeling the impacts of the compact offered by Governor Stitt to the Sac and Fox tribes last December. The shop says their doors are closing for good because they can no longer afford to sell products at a discount. News Force Caitlin Ogle with this story. Leanda Parsons has helped run the Independence Tobacco Shop in Shawnee for 30 years. The doors are only staying open until their inventory runs out, which could be Friday. She wants people to know tribal state negotiations impact everyone. I've got 15 staff members. Over half have been here 15 years or longer. And they're losing their jobs for no reason. Bright pink signs hang outside of the Independence Tobacco Shop in Shawnee, reading, quote, vote stood out, and, quote, he's not willing to have fair or reasonable negotiations with Native American tribes. The signs hung up by co owner Leanda Parson. Just doesn't want to, to play fair with others. If he would have reasonable and fair negotiations, that'd be one thing. She says the shelves in her busy store now bare. Most all of our cigarettes are gone. We don't have a Marlboro in the house. <laughs> Blaming a compact, Governor Stitt offered the Saxon Fox Nation back in December. Although she isn't Native American, her store sits on land owned by the tribe, meaning she's no longer able to sell tobacco at discounted prices. Governor Stitt is making us pay full state tax, which gives us no tribal advantage whatsoever. We would have to pay Sac and Fox tax too. Well, that's double taxation, so who wants to buy cigarettes at that price? At first, Parson says she was angry with the tribes. Now her focus has shifted. His Sac and Fox Nation is so small, they can't take on the state of Oklahoma by themselves. Now, Independence Tobacco is open until inventory runs out, likely closing their doors for good this weekend. Don't know what the future holds, but it won't hold a vote from Governor Stitt from me. Now, obviously, we reached out to Governor Stitt's office, but they didn't answer. We also reached out to Sac and Fox, but have not heard back yet.